Yo, what's good, Group 1 3 here back in the day, and today, guys, we are here for Forza Thon number 3 for June in Forza Motorsport 7, and this week, guys, we have got some pretty cool prizes. There's one in particular that I am most excited about. I've guessed from the screen, you can already tell what vehicle I really, really want. But without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the events. So first up, what we have is we have On a Stallion, win a race at Mugello in any Ford Mustang to win the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302 Fours Edition. Then what we have is we have Slithering Along. Win a race in a 2008 Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR. And then complete a race at the Dubai Mountain Circuit in a front wheel drive car to win the Kiss the Cook driver gear. And then finally we have Bullying Through. Complete a race in the 2016 Lamborghini Event Store LP750-4 SV. Then we have win a race at Suzuka in a Sport Luxury Division car. And finally, we have complete two races in an A-Class car. Now, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and mention this again. Is if you watch the Forza Horizon 3 Forza-thon that we did yesterday, then you're going to want to go ahead and realize this. There is not going to be a Forza-thon live stream for the next couple of weeks. This is because right now I'm shacked up in a hotel for work and it is not all that great right now. So my internet isn't, that's what I'm getting at. As well, I'm working like 12 hour days, so like, and it's every single day for like the next seven days after this. It's gonna be crazy, my schedule is busy. So I'm just now sitting down to go ahead and work out these forcethons so that we can at least get them done, have some fun with them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start off with this bullying through one because we do these two events, right? And then we have to do two A-class races. Well, I've got an A-class front-wheel drive car, and I've got an A-class Ford Mustang. Then, we just go ahead and do this one. So, five races or so, and we should be done. So, that's where I want to go ahead and start. We are going to start off completing a race in the Lamborghini Aventador. So, let's go ahead and grab that really quickly, because I know I've got one. Uh, I just haven't really used it all that much. Uh, really, you, you would think the Lamborghini Aventador... I remember in Forza Horizon, that was like my car of choice. I was always rocking out with this thing, man. It was always one of the best cars ever. So anyway, though, let's go ahead and get a tune put on here. I want to make sure that this has a fairly decent tune. Uh, let's see if there's any decent ones out there. So we got one by the Slap Train. Very interesting. But that is a drag car. And we got Race Boy right here. Let's go ahead and download his. So I, I don't think I've ever actually used this Slap Train tune before. Very interesting. Very, very interesting, but let's go ahead and purchase that for about 10 G's because, I mean, we're already going to be making, well, we aren't really going to be making, well, at the same time, yeah, I don't know where I'm getting anymore. I was going to say, well, we're not going to be getting that money back because, you know, we're getting a car and not prize money, but then at the same time, we're going to be doing the races to actually go ahead and get some money back. So, you know, I, I don't know what I'm getting at anymore. So what we got to do is we got to go ahead and complete a race in this Lamborghini Aventador. Where to, though? Where to? Because... Right now we're set up for Dubai, but we already got to do Dubai at least once. Uh, so you know what I'm thinking? Let's go to Circuit of the Americas. We're going to do three laps, and this is going to be fun. This will be fun, guys. I, I, I promise you. I promise you it'll be fun. Let's go to the race and get this thing underway. So as I was saying, though, guys, there is no Force Thumb live stream this week, and it kind of sucks. It really does. Because in Horizon 3, the Forza Thon we had requires you to go online. You had to do some playground games, and so later tonight night I had to put out a post on YouTube and Twitter and all the sources and everything like that and be like, hey, I'm playing Forza Horizon 3, you guys want to come out and play? I know it ain't a live stream, but you know, let's have some fun. So, I don't know anymore, I don't know. I, I, I just want to get these cars out of the way, because right now, the only thing that stands between me and my bed is this Forza Thon. <laughs> That's all I'm saying, guys. That is all I'm saying. As well, though, after this, so there's actually two things standing between me and my bed. The Crew 2 open beta. I still have not played the closed beta or the open beta. I have not touched the Crew 2 yet because I just haven't had the time. Because when they went ahead and, you know, started up the Crew 2, right? You know, the Crew 2 closed beta. I got invited to go ahead and participate in that. Thing is, those I was on vacation did not take my Xbox with me. Crap. Okay. Yeah, that, that kind of sucks a little bit. 
I was hoping that, you know, maybe they would extend the beta or something like that, because I guess there were some mistakes and some issues with the servers. So, I, I don't know, I was hoping. I was hoping, but that didn't happen. And now we've got the open beta, right? And the open beta was running all this weekend, and you know, normal work schedule, I would have been okay. I would have been down, I would have been so happy. But right now, I'm on kind of a weird work schedule. I'm working 12 hours a damn day. Guys, I'm getting that OT. But the thing is, though, is holy crap, because I'm doing terrible right now here at the Circuit of the Americas. God damn. But, uh, you know, I normally would have been okay with that. I've been like, yeah, I get to play freaking The Crew 2 all day, all weekend. Man, it's going to be amazing. Nah, nah. I mean, literally, I got to work. I, I wake up at 5 a.m., go to work at 6, get home at 6.30. It is, it's pretty long days. And then when I get home from work, because my job is actually requiring me to get outside and we are working hard it, it's just I'm, I'm like running through clothes more than usual right now it, it is bad it is pretty damn bad guys that, that's all i'm gonna say i have been sweating through clothes i actually had to do laundry i had to do laundry at a hotel i haven't ever had to do laundry oh my god we miss, we i missed my breaking line right there for a second i thought we were going to be turning right not left Okay, so here we go. Let's go ahead and get that ready to go. But I mean, guys, I had to do laundry at the hotel. I've never had to do that before. And it's like, man. Okay, that that's a new that was a new experience. So I don't I don't know. I don't know. And I, I, I just want to play the crew too. That's all I want to do is I just want to play a little bit of the crew too. I have not got to play it at all. And I still need to pre-order it. I mean the game comes out in just a couple of days now. And I, I still have not yet pre-ordered it. And of course, I want to go ahead and pre-order, you know, the the big fancy edition that comes with the license plate. Because, you know, Arkansas doesn't have front license plates. So I can put that on my front, you know, for decoration. But the thing is, though, is there is not a GameStop anywhere near where I am. It's, it's like 20 miles to the closest GameStop right now. And it's like, oh, Why? Why? Because I, I would just go ahead, call game stuff up, pre-order it from them, and then go buy it, right? You know, but I can't. I can't. So I'm going to get the online digital gold edition, which kind of sucks a little bit, but, eh, you know, it's still the same thing. But the other thing is, though, is all the DLCs in the Crew 2 are free. So if you don't mind waiting a little bit, I would say just, you know, order the regular one. You know, you don't need to get the gold edition because the season pass only gets you, uh... Gets you all the DLCs like a week early, which I mean for me being a YouTuber streamer sort of person I mean that that's pretty damn helpful But for the average Joe, I mean you, you don't necessarily you get your cars a week late that that's it That that's pretty much all you're gonna you get to play the game Three days later than people who pre-ordered the gold edition But you still get all the cars and everything like that just a week later than anyone who pre-ordered the gold edition it's like man that's a pretty terrible perk <laughs> i'm gonna be straight up honest it's a pretty terrible perk i'm still gonna pre-order the gold edition but in my honest opinion i would recommend most of you guys if you want to play the crew 2 just pre-order the standard edition i mean it's not gonna be that big of a deal and honestly if you haven't pre-ordered by now it's either a you're not gonna pre-order or you're gonna wait until like last second to go ahead and pre-order this game so, we are now on to our second lap here. Oh, God. Again. Hold on. Oh, sweet Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus. Oh, my God. We hit the gravel. We hit the gravel. We're, we're far enough ahead, though, that it's not going to matter all that much. But, man, I've been driving pretty damn terribly here. That's all I can say. You know, I'm not used to this Aventador. I really, really am not. You know, because honestly, I find rear-wheel drive cars in Motorsport 7 to be much, much better than all-wheel drive cars. And I honestly actually like front-wheel drive cars more than all-wheel drive cars. But when it comes to, like, Horizon, oh, all-wheel drive all the way. <laughs> That's all I can say. That's all I can say. All-wheel drive all the way. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, dear Lord. All right, so anyway, though, we are coming up here to our last corner on corner two. And then we will be making our way through the final lap of coda oh my gosh guys oh my gosh i forgot how much i don't like this track i mean it's a fun track and all but uh it's very very tight 
you know, I would rather be here in like, you know, the uh, a Honda Civic Type R or something that, you know, has a little bit better handling than a Lamborghini Aventador. Or, I mean, by handling, I mean turn radius. I wish, honestly, I had something that had a better turn radius because you guys will see here, when I come up here to one of those like tight corners, I'm going really, really wide. And I mean, I would go wide in one of those cars too, but it's just the reason I'm going wide in this one is because it won't turn all that much. You guys see right there, like, I mean, I could have cut that in a little bit more, but the turn radius is not all that great in this car. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. So here we go. Oh God, just, just get going right there. Ah, thank you. Thank you for not crashing into the tire wall. All right, but anyway, though, let's continue on with this race. Little Aventador, let's go. Although, little is not a good descriptor word for this car whatsoever. Oh my gosh, all right, there we go. Good corner, good corner. All right, now we need to stay here. I believe we need to stay on the outside because I keep trying to go onto the inside because I keep feeling like it's a right turn when it's a left turn. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. So this way we'll actually be able to see the brake line when we need to actually go ahead and brake. And I'm gonna brake a little bit early because you guys saw this thing, uh, mm, yeah, it, it's not wanting to break super well. I'll give it that. I'll give that this tune. Uh, the braking is not super responsive, uh, I, I guess. I don't know. We're still going to go ahead and win this race. I mean, that's not going to be a problem. But, uh, yeah, the braking doesn't seem to be super responsive. I mean, it's responsive enough for most corners, but when you come flying down a straight, it, it doesn't want to stop the car fast enough. Uh, I'm sure if I had ABS off, maybe I could do it, but I tend to race with ABS on because a lot of times I get a little trigger happy and I just end up, you know, really messing up the corner and locking the brakes up. It just doesn't end well. It just doesn't end well. All right, so here we go, guys. The final corner of this race. We are way out in front. I don't know what skill level we're on, but this Aventador put in the finest of work against them. Although, we did have a couple of bit of issues. I want to see, though, what difficulty we're on, though, before we go ahead and move on. Because we do got another race to go ahead and do, which is at Suzuka in a luxury sedan, I think. I think that's what it is. Uh, it might be luxury saloon. I don't know what it's actually called. So, we got a 221, but we didn't even put in a single clean lap. Uh, but that is six seconds faster than the guy in second place. All right. So, anyway, though. We made our progress, there we go. And what I wanna do is I wanna just go ahead and click next race. So I don't know where it's gonna take us. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll take us to Suzuka. That's all I can hope for, right? All we can hope for. All right, so anyway though, let's see here what we're gonna get. First place, all right, come on. What does our credits look like? Okay. Oh wow, we had driver chart difficulty way, way down. Okay, we gotta be like on highly skilled or something like that. That's why we were kicking the ass. That's why we kicked some ass. We're gonna move that up on the expert because yeah, you already know that is not good at all. Let's go ahead and take a look right here. Drive it to our difficulty. Yeah, highly skilled. At least a minimum of expert, man. At least a minimum of expert. So our next Forza Thunder race that we gotta go ahead and do is we've already done this, but we gotta win a race at Suzuka in a sport luxury division car. So let's go ahead and find one of those. Alrighty, here, sort and filter. We need division, thank you very much. Uh, oh wait, I'm already in, <laughs> I gotta change the race settings real quick. Hold on, back on out of here, come on. Go a little bit faster, thank you. Oh man, it's already, it's already loading us at Dubai. Come on, I don't, ah. Ah. I should've changed it to Suzuka while I was at it. All right, race setup. We are going to Suzuka. All right. That one right there. Yes, thank you. Uh, I don't know if there's any specific circuit, so we're just going to do full circuit. And we're going to set this up for any. Yes, I want I want to change those. All right. And we... Thank you. Okay, yeah. All right. Division. Apply filters. So now we need Sport Luxury, I think is what it was called. I think it was called Sport Luxury. I had to think there for a second. Oh my god, just go faster. <laughs> oh, this is the one part I really hate about just the regular Xbox One. Is it just is so, 
so slow. Oh my god, it is so damn slow, guys. All right, so we got Sport Luxury right there. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh man, I wonder if the Xbox One X actually handles a little bit better with this. I, I don't, I have no clue. I have no clue on that. Ooh, ooh. I know what we're using. I have not touched this thing yet. Let's go ahead and find ourselves a tune for this because this is gonna be fun. I have not used this car yet whatsoever. All right, come on, let's see what we got here. Uh, you know what? Let's not use two. We'll just use this thing straight out the back, or straight out the bat. Straight out the bag. Oh my God, why can't I say it? We're gonna use this thing straight out the bag and uh, see how it does. You know, I, I was a little off right there. So I wanna check the force thought again. All right, Suzuka in a sport luxury. All right, we got that, we got that going. Just need this track to go ahead and finish up loading and we'll be good to go. I don't know the last time I've been to Suzuka. It has been a long, long time. You know, I've been racing in the game and racing in uh, leagues and all that sort of stuff and it just, I haven't been to Suzuka in a long time, you know? This is gonna be fun. This is going to be fun. Although actually, no. No, it's it's Suzuka. I've been to Suzuka a lot. What am I thinking? Oh my god, guys. I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. I, I was thinking of another track, and it's to Scuba, I think. I think it's to Scuba, and that's not even in the game. So, start this race up, my boy. Come on, let's go. Let's go. We've got our wide-body Cadillac CTS right here. Or is this an ATS? I don't even know. All right, but anyway, though, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, guys, I just made a mistake. I lifted up my controller too fast. I unplugged my headset. All right, here we go, man. Pass that Ferrari. Ow! What else is all... What all, what all is here? All right, so I see a Mercedes-Benz. Oh, my God, there is just a pile up. Come on. Oh, I can't break through. Break through. Ah! Go faster, man. Go faster. We're just literally just having to push through here, man. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, so right now we're sitting in ninth place, which is not very good to start off. We moved up here in eighth, although that Camaro has got the inside line and is going to take it from us. All right, let's see what we can do here, man. Let's see what we can do. All right, come on. Oh yeah, we got the inside line here on the Camaro, but that Camaro is pulling on us on the outside. Holy crap, guys, and he's going to break us there. Oh, come on, Camaro. Let me buy. Let me buy. You see, I'm, I'm hitting your rear end. You just need to let me go. You just need to let me go, man. All right, thank you for your braking. I'm, I'm really racing terribly right now. I'm racing very aggressive. All right, no, this Mercedes, no. No, man, no. All right, come on. Break, 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 break. Get this corner very nice and smooth. Right now we're sitting in seventh. Can we catch up at all? Oh my God, I just, I dropped that gear a little too soon. All right, come on, little Cadillac. So this is an ATS, it's not a CTS. Okay, I was wrong there, guys, I was wrong. Okay, come on, we got this Lotus here. We can get in front of that Lotus. We're, we're a bit faster than the Lotus is. I actually, is that two Lotuses right there? Or is that a, uh, is that a Jaguar uh, Project 7? I don't know. All right, come on, guys. We're on the straightaway. This Cadillac has got the power to pass them. All right, come on, man. Come on. That's one car out of the way. Thank you for your spot. All right, I'm going to go ahead and try and get through this corner next. Oh, man. What is that? What is that up there? I don't even know. I don't even know. It looks like a, It kind of looks like a crossbow. Uh, it is definitely not a crossbow. That just looks like another Lotus. All right. We hit that grass there, I had to rewind. I will say this thing is a little bit squirrely, especially on the corners. So we made it up here into sixth place. Come on, man, come on, Cadillac, you got this. You got this, we had the power to go ahead and get in front of that other Lotus. Let's see you do it again here, man. All right, oh shit, that is a crossbow. That is a crossbow, I, I didn't realize they were that big. I thought they were quite a bit smaller, okay. There we go, through this corner. 
All right, that looks like a catered room in front of us. So we've got some track toys here that are kind of kicking our butts right now. First place is way up there, so we do need to go ahead and get some catching up done. And I do want to get, whenever I get the chance to, I want to get this car tuned up a little bit more because it is, it's a little bit too squirrely for my liking. I wish it was a little bit more planted. As you guys see right there, I'm like just trying to keep this thing under control. All right. And them track toys, though, they are handling so well through here. Oh, my God. Okay, come on, man. Come on, Cadillac. You got this. I really hope that, you know, they're not like R2 class or something like that. Because I've been seeing that more often. You know, I'll get in uh, one car and then, you know, another car will be there. And it's just... It just doesn't work out real well. Uh, like, they'll be a much higher class. Like, I'll be in a C-class race and there will be an S1. I don't know how, but it'll be there. So. All right, come on. Let's pass this catering room on the inside. Thank you. Kind of had to ram him off road. We're being a bit of a bully. There we go. Come on, man. Come on. Fourth place. We need to win. We need to win. First place is way up there now, though. Holy crap. He's just pulling away from the pack. Oh, that's not good for us. That is not good for us at all. Okay, man. Come on, Cadillac. You got this. Oh, dear Lord. Oh dear lord, look at that. Look at the front thing, front bumper of this thing, man. It is it is just trashed. It is just trashed. Alright, we're gonna take a cut right there. Alright, come on, that's gonna be third for us. That's gonna be third if we can get in front of this Mercedes. Yes. Alright, come on now. I see a Subaru WRX. What is the lineup here? What do we got? What do we got? So the next person in front is a Ferrari FF, and that is not a WRX, that is an RS200. My God, my dudes. All right, this is our final lap. We need to pull everything out. We need to get this thing going. So there is first place. We can catch him. We can catch him, man. All right, I'm, I'm driving so carefully here. We can get out of the way if we can get past this RS200, man. Oh no, not the grass, not the grass. Get a rewind. Oh my god, this is gonna be, this is gonna be tight. This is gonna be so tight. Oh my gosh. We can't hit that grass. Come on, come on, Caddy. You got this. All right, I'm, I'm just gonna have to get off the gas here. And then gas now. Okay, there we go. That worked out a little bit better. Come on, we gotta get past this RS200. That is our only way of winning. Oh, come on. We tried, we tried. But that RS200 has got the line I want. Alright, come on, man. We gotta get past this Ferrari. That's all that's left now. We've got past the RS200. I hate how that thing just drops right there. It scares the shit out of me every single time. All right, come on. Come on, we gotta get past him. He's right there. He is right there. If we don't get past him, I'm gonna be so mad at myself because we gotta go ahead and do this again. <laughs> oh no. Come on, Cadillac. You got this. He's right there. He's right there. On the power. On the power. Oh, my God. Come on. No! 
Okay, we gotta back up. We gotta rewind. He is so close to us. He is so close to us. We can do something. We gotta, we gotta try something. We've gotta try anything here. Alright. I know what I'm gonna do. That is very risky, guys. Don't ever do that. That is what we had to do so that we don't have to do this race again. Oh my gosh. Just look at the damage it did. Just look at the damage. Oh my gosh. But that is a win. Oh, oh, oh I'm so ashamed of myself. Oh, man. I, I, could not, I could not let that happen. We had to rewind a couple of times in there because, you know, I was, I was just concentrating so much. And I would have been so mad, <laughs> but look at that. We ruined that Ferrari's race. He's not even finished yet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. We, we, just, we just destroyed him. We just destroyed him. <laughs> oh, where is he? Where is he? Okay, so everyone is finished. I'm just looking for a Ferrari FF. Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. Did we just, like, cha hit it so hard that it changed its car? Did did we hit it that hard? Oh, no, it came in 24th. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, my gosh, that was bad. But we did it, guys. We won our race in our Sport Luxury car. It does not look good, though. Like I said, though, like, like the Force Thawne event is, it's called Bullying Through, and we had to bully our way through there with this thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh my god, that was that was atrocious. That was so bad. Alright, but anyway though, let's go ahead and see our rewards. First place for the asshole in the Cadillac. That's all I can say. We get our money, we get some extra credits because we were in a Forza Edition car. Which I guess all the new cars are going to be called Forza Editions. And I do want to talk about something else. Uh, I'm sure you guys have all heard about it by now. But there is a car leak list for Forza Horizon 4. And I have seen this, guys. Do not worry. I've seen it. I, I know what's going on. And basically, a lot of the cars were listed as Horizon Editions and not Forza Editions. So I'm interested to see what actually is going on. I'm almost, I'm almost positive that this list may be real. <laughs> I don't know if it's real or not. I don't know if it's real. A lot of people are saying, you know, it's real. And I've seen a bunch of people talking about it on YouTube and all that sort of stuff. And of course, I'm not going to get to talk about it for at least until tomorrow, and that's going to suck. I'm, I'm a little bit behind the ball on this one, and it's just because of my work schedule. It's just because of my work schedule. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish that, you know, YouTube paid me enough where I could be like, okay, you know what, I need today off of work so that I can go do YouTube stuff. <laughs> and no, it, it don't work like that. All right, so anyway, though, let's go here into the Forzathon list. See what we got to do next, because our next race, we got to win a race in a 2008 Dodge Viper SRT10 ACR. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves that, which, oh man, I'm going to set this up so that it's all Dodge Vipers. So it's basically going to be me versus other Dodge Vipers, because man, that last race though, it, it, it was close. It was close. All right. Yes, there we go. All right. So we need a SRT10 ACR. Now, we've got this one right here. Oh, wait, no, hold on, hold on. Is that a different Viper? Because it didn't say year, it just said Viper SRT10 ACR, which is this one right here. Yeah. Okay, so we got to use the 2008. That, it said 2008. What? I'm, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. All right, but anyway, though, let's go here into tuning and upgrades. Get ourselves a halfway decent tune for this thing. I'm sure there's got to be one out there. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? So we got one from Sweden Pro. You know what? We'll, we'll just get his. We'll just get his right off the bat here. You know, he, he's a relatively decent tuner. Plus, now he is on a Forza RC team. So, I mean, I, I guess I'm going to trust him. I'm going to trust him on this. Don't let me down, Sweden. Don't let me down. All right, so we got our Viper SRT10 ACR ready to go let's go ahead and check on this because what, what 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 class car is this actually you know we'll just set it up for the class this is a sport gt car so we're gonna go here and we're gonna set this for sport gt all right we gotta go all the way to the back though all right sport gt there we go yes 
Oh, what? It's telling me I gotta select a new car? I gotta select a new car? What? What on earth is this? This is not okay. I know. I know. Okay, we're, we're just gonna set this up for any. I don't wanna select a new car. This is a sport GT car, but I probably tuned it out of its class. So, just any. We're, we're just gonna go with any. We're gonna rock out with it and just get get this going. All right. Why does it keep taking me back to Dubai? I don't want to go to Dubai right now. Let's go to Indianapolis. And you know what? Brickyard. Why not? And we're going to do five laps of Brickyard. 23 Travitars. Let's see how this actually works out. Uh, because at least... So... I'm going to accept these changes. Oh. Sometimes, guys, Forza, it's like... I understand why it's there. But it just makes me mad. That, you know, it's like... It doesn't know what I want. Oh, God, I know that sounds stupid, but yep, yep. All right, track is loading. Hopefully, we'll be able to go ahead and pull this off. I'm thinking, though, Indianapolis, we got an American sports car here. Let's go ahead and rock it out. Man, I just, I just don't know. Also, what do you guys think of my new driver gear right now? If you don't know what this is, this is the Forza RCC adult driver gear. Uh, basically, if you watched any of the Forza RC races, uh, the, the final two ones in the playoffs, you got the opportunity to go ahead and get this. I think you had to watch like two hours of a live stream to get it. So honestly, I'll be straight up with you guys. I kind of just turned the live stream on and after like an hour or so, I just sort of left. It, it was just playing in the background. All right, so here we go. We got our Viper. Let's go, man. This thing should have a shit ton of power. It has a V10, of course. All right. We're getting sandwiched though. What are you doing? Why is he doing this to me? They have sandwiched me and are causing me to fail. See, look at that. He just took me out. This Mountain Dew car is taking me out. Why? Who are you, Osuzo2002? I don't like you. Okay, there we go. And see, he's trying to take me out too. What on earth is this? Why are you doing this to me? Why? So now we've lost a crap ton of speed. We're sitting in 15th place. Now we're back up to 12. We got some good passes there. Hopefully, though, the power of this Viper will get us enough to catch up. Because right now, ooh, we are not looking pretty. We are not looking pretty at all. All right, come on. Come on, SRT10. You've got this. Look at that. We are catching up right here. Oh my god, yes. Okay, come on. We're on the straightaway. Oh man, they've all got some speed though. I'm going to try and drag behind this guy here. Come on, he is pulling on me though. He is pulling on me. Oh my god, really? Alright, so we're on lap two now. We've only done two laps. What? On? Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh my god, okay. Uh, that guy is dead. <laughs> um, that was very, very interesting right there. Um... Thank you. Shake and bake, everybody! Shake and bake! Okay. Come on, Viper. You got this. You have got this. We're sitting in ninth place now. We still have got... Three laps to go. Can we do it? Can we do it? That is the question. All right. Yes. That is sixth place now. That is sixth place. Oh, man. He is, uh, that like him there for a second, man. He almost got us. Which, I don't know if you guys actually looked at that car list that I was talking about earlier, but apparently the Lycan Hypersport was not on that list. Which, that's kind of a shame. That is a fantastic car, and why it's not on the list, I don't know. I don't know. There is no W Motors on the list at all. And that, that freaking 4GT just had to try and slow us down, huh? Huh? Alright, but we're back here on the straightaway. Come on, man. We are in fifth place. If we can get the positions that we got on that last one, we will be set. 
because that will take us up into second. All right. We just need a lift here. All right. There we go. Come on, mate. Come on. Oh, yes. We have got some power. We've got the power on this. Oh, my God. That is fourth place right there. That is fourth place right there. It is Nissan GTR. We've got him. We have got him. But can we catch up to first? Probably not. I, I hate to admit it, guys. We would need like 10 laps to go ahead and catch up the first. And we need to... I, do we have to win a race? Yeah, we got to win this race, don't we? Ugh. If it weren't for that start, we would be in the... We would be in the ace. We would be we'd be kicking some ass and taking some names. And if we didn't do shit like that right now... Oh, man. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and let off the brake there just a little bit. Or not, not the brake, let off the gas. And let's keep going. Come on, man. What do we got in front of us? What is this? It looks like maybe a Ferrari or maybe an Acura. Oh, man. Oh, it's another Ford GT. No, that's a Ferrari 458. Okay, what am I saying? What am I saying? All right, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, man. Come on. Oh... I think if we had like two or three more laps, we could catch first. But we're on our fifth lap. We are not catching first, unfortunately. God damn it. Not unless they crash right here. I need them to crash right here, right now. But it ain't going to happen. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks so much. Look at that. One more lap and we would have had this in the bag. We would have had it in the bag. Oh, my God. Third place. I'm, I've learned my lesson, though. We're going to do six laps. <laughs> We're going to do six laps here on the next run. All right. We got we to gotta go ahead and restart that, man. Because look at that. 53 seconds. We almost had him. And look at this bullshit right here. They're all in ARC 848s. And we're in an 800. That's why we couldn't catch up. This thing's got enough power. We should have been absolutely annihilating them. But they're on 848 cars. Go figure, right? <laughs> we're in an S class, and they're in R2 848s. Like they've got more power than us. Ah, uh, give me my money. Let's let's get this going. I'm gonna do six laps this time, and let's see if there's actually a better tune. That's all I can say because they're all in 848s. So screw them. We're gonna get it something faster. <laughs> all right, so. Actually, what we need to do is we need to search for one. Uh, we need to make it car class R. So there we go. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna search for an R class tune because of course they're on 848 cars. My God, why? Why on earth are they doing that? So let's see what we got here. Uh, we got an 840 854. I kind of want something less than 848 because then we can actually do something with it. Dean Kearney, oh no, no, that is going to be a drift car. Oh man, some of these are drifty. R840. That's going to give us a significant power boost and we'll still be below the other people. I don't know how the handling will be. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. But we're going to set this up for six laps instead of the five that we did before. And that way we should have plenty of room to go ahead and do. There was nothing wrong with the last tune. Uh, it's just we didn't have the power, man. We just we didn't have it. Not for that race. We we were the underdog by far. We were the underdog by far. Well, let's go ahead and start this race up. Indianapolis Motor Speedway again. Brickyard. Let's go, man. Let's go. This Dodge Viper better better put in the work here. All right, so we're we're farther up the pack though this time. That's good. We're not starting in like 24th like we did last time. Oh shit, this is a drift car. I wish they would have put that, you know, hey, this is a drift car, not a uh, freaking race car. Although, actually, it's not too drifty. Never mind. My bad, my dudes. But you can tell, though, this thing has got a bit more power than it did last time. So there we go, guys. We're already in first. <laughs> we should have just set this up for one lap. All that, that Ferrari next to us, though, is giving us the works. Look at that thing. Oh, but he just let off a little bit. 
There we go. Get around that corner. Yes. I've got a bit of an experience now with this, uh, with this circuit. Because I have gone and done probably, I don't know, 300 laps around here? Trying to get a super amazing time against those Formula 1, or not Formula 1, the IndyCar drivers. I put in so much effort. And I came pretty damn close. I didn't actually beat any of them. But I did make it into the top 10%. So I'll give it that. I made it into the top 10% on both races, which I need to actually work a little bit more on the most recent one. Because that is with one of the guys from, uh, like, he, he's like an announcer for a lot of main races, like actual races, races, you know, <laughs> with actual cars, not Forza. So, although he did actually, uh, he did announce uh, one of the Forza races uh, in Forza RC, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, I, I, I need to try and do a little bit better in that race, because right now I think I'm like in 13, 13 percentage. And in order to get the most out of the rewards, you need to get into the top 10. So I do need to drop my time just a little bit more, and I will be A-OK. -okay. And that is on, I believe it's on Le Mans, Circuit de la Sarthe. So I just need to go ahead and do a little bit more work on there. Because my time's not terrible. You know, I'm in like the 13th percentile. I just need to get it like another second or so. It's a long track. I can definitely do it. Uh, it, it's just gonna take a bit of time. So here we go. We are on lap three now We should get this thing wrapped up here pretty quickly. All right We, we definitely only needed to do the five laps before <laughs> Once this thing got that bit of power increase. It was it was done. So it was just done uh, They didn't stand a chance <laughs> So although it's actually only rocking about 700 horsepower It's really not all that powerful for an R-class car. I've seen a lot more powerful cars in this class so, I don't know. I don't know. But now we're on our fourth lap here. Wow, I'm getting pretty damn bored of this already. Oh, uh, he's making a left turn. And another left turn. <laughs> Just, I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. But this Dodge Viper, though, actually handles pretty, not, not too bad. Not too bad. Although, I think I will stick to that S-Class tune. I think that is just a better tune overall. Uh, so, it, it just didn't work for this race because this one's all about the power. You know, you have more power, you're going to win this race. Straight up. So, alright, we got one more, two more laps after this one. Let's see how we can do. What is our time looking like on this, though? We are getting 52 second laps for much. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember what our last one was in the S-Class car, but I actually think it was pretty damn close to that. I think they were pretty damn close. Uh, so, but this Viper, though, it, this one has obviously a lot more power. That's all I can say about that. So, I do want to try out, though, that Dean Kearney, uh, that Dean Kearney tune, because for those of you guys who don't know, I did make a video about my thoughts and opinions on the new Formula, Formula Drift car pack that is coming to Forza Horizon 4. And possibly Forza Motorsport 7. That's a little bit up in the air still. But, uh... A lot of people were telling me that, you know, oh... The, uh, the GT 4586, you know, oh man, we're not gonna get that. That, that didn't actually compete. I don't care, guys. It was actually a car that was owned by a Formula Drift driver. And it has the same logos as his main... GT86, so I'm saying I'm sticking with it. I'm sticking with it. I want to see that car in the game. But a lot of people are saying uh, they wanted to see Dean Kearney's Dodge Viper because that is the most powerful Formula Drift car currently that is competing. So although I'm going to be straight up honest, we already got a Dodge Viper right here. I'm I'm driving it right now, so I don't really get the appeal because I try to do my list to be cars that you know we can't currently make because they're not available in the game and use some loopholes to try and bring in like a Toyota Supra because a lot of people want a Toyota Supra but anyway though this is the final straight we've got this race won we should be pretty much good to go that is our Dodge Viper race out of the way now what we need to do is grab ourselves our Ford Mustang and then I've got a Honda Civic Type R which I'm going to be using for the front wheel drive race so let's go ahead and get that one done next. Uh, and then we'll have our Ford D2 
done right after that. So let's see here. We are going to go ahead and click on next race. We're going to set the next one up for uh, any, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just want to use my A-class Honda Civic Type R. That's all I want. That's all I want to do. All I want to do, guys. So there we go, guys. We have got our first place victory. It took us two tries, but we got it. We got it. All right. Give me my money and get us our level up. Oh, man, we were so close to leveling up there. I won't buy that car, but, oh, man, it's it's 350000 Ah. All right, so I think this time, though, this one is now when we finally go to freaking Dubai, and we're only going to go to the mountain circuit. And now what we have to do is it's still set to any, uh, but I do want to go here to advanced rules. Or, well, not that, but I want to go here to car class and set it to A. All right? It's going to be A class so that we're not seeing freaking R classes when we're driving around in our A class car. But let's go ahead and pick up our Honda. Pick up our Honda. I went ahead and put a design on it, though. Although, I'm not necessarily too keen on the design. I don't know who it is. I, I'm guessing the painter or something like that. Or it's like a team. Uh, I, I'm sure it's a team. Because uh, it says Veloci on the side of it right here. I, I'm sure that's got to be like a team or something like that. It says eSports. I don't know. Forza RC. It, it looked cool. It looked cool. So, now that we're here at... You guys, did, did, you, got, did you not see me click Mountain Circuit Dubai? Did you not see me? Okay. There it goes. There it goes. It, it starts loading up with Daytona. I don't want to go to Daytona. I don't want to go. So we need to race at Dubai Mountain Circuit in a front-wheel drive car. And that's what this is. That is what this is. How many laps are we doing? We're doing three laps. Okay. Get this thing started. That's all I want. I just want to get done with this so I can play the Crew 2 for once. For once. I just want, like, I'm only going to get, like, 30 minutes of the Crew 2 right now. That's it. I'm not even going to make a video on it because I just don't get the opportunity to. I, it, it sucks. It really does. So, it also sucks that this video is going up on a Monday. So, I wanted to try and get this one out on Sunday, but like I was saying earlier, I'm getting home at 6.30. I'm trying to be in bed by 9 because i got to get my ass up at 5. And right now it's 9.30 when I'm making this video. All because where I am, we've been joking that... The service in this city is absolutely dreadful. It is dreadful. I went to a restaurant at one of my other co-workers' hotels, because he's at a hotel that has a restaurant in it, and they could serve decent food. So we're sitting there. We put in our order. An hour later, we finally get it. An hour later. And I'm just like, what is going on with this? And like, you know, oh, you order something from McDonald's? It took me 15 minutes this morning to get my breakfast from McDonald's. 15 minutes. It's just like, why? Okay, what class is that Ferrari FF? It's an A class. Luckily, though, we just got to complete a race. We don't got to win it. So that Ferrari FF is just, uh, damn. He doesn't like us very much. Alright, there we go. Oh! No! Ouch! Ow! Okay, this tune is not the greatest. That's all I'm going to say. It's not the greatest tune out there. It's not bad. It's not bad. But you guys see we're swinging a little bit wide here. Granted, this is a front-wheel drive car. But man, you know, I've had I've had some better A-class front-wheel drive cars before. Like the Renault Clio V6. Forza, where is that? Where is my Renault Clio V6? I just want to drive one. I just want to drive one. It is such a fun car. You put in a couple games every now and then, and then you take it away, then you put it back. Why? <laughs> that's my question. That is my that's all I want to know. Forza, why are you taking away my favorite car? Why? Uh it's not actually my favorite car, but I do love them. I really, really do. And some people are like, why do you want a Renault Clio? Why? Well, it's a fun-ass car. It really, really is. So the Renault Clio V6, though, mm, I wish we had them in the States. 
We don't have Renos at all in the States, but honestly, if they had this Renault Clio V6, I would so, so consider buying one. In fact, you know, when they finally go up for sale for import, I want to see how much they are, because I've actually heard that they're still really damn expensive. Like, they cost like $20,000 still, and it's, it's, it's an old car now. It, it is considered to be an old car, and you're paying $20,000 for a used Renault Clio, which, uh, mmm... That, that's not going to go over well with most people. But honestly, this car... If I can import one to the States, I definitely will. Because I love it that much. I really, really do. Alright, so here we go, guys. Here we go. Oh, damn. This Ferrari just handles so much better on that curvy section. But I think we've got more power than it. So on like the straights, we can actually pick up with it. I don't, I don't know. Ow. That's going to hurt us a little bit. So I don't know how much time we've actually lost from that accident there. But we got that Ferrari. Come on, man. Oh. I'm also going to tell you guys this about that car list. You know, I'm probably going to talk about this a little bit more in depth later. But one of the cars on the car list uh, was, it said Ferrari 151. And I'm like, what is that? And I had to Google it. And apparently there is a concept car that Ferrari made, which is an SUV called the Ferrari F-151. However, though, that's also the code name for the Ferrari FF. And I'm just like, why? Why? I would much rather have a Ferrari SUV than a Ferrari FF. Honestly, I, I hate the Ferrari FF. The thing is ugly as sin. I know there's someone out there hating on me for that. Like, sure, I love the Ferrari FF. No. No, man, I, I just, I can't stand it. All right, so anyway, though, we are actually in first now. Now we get to just hop lap this last lap. So that would be pretty damn good. We can actually see what this Honda Civic Type R is made of because I do love this thing. I really, really do. And I hope that we see this in Horizon 4 because as of right now on that car list, this thing is missing. I'm going to be straight up honest. This thing is missing, and it needs to be there. It really, really does. So here we go, guys. Oh man, ah! You can already tell right there the front wheel drive. It just, it just didn't want to turn right there. That's gonna ruin our hot lap. But oh my god, yes! Ah, again with the freaking turning. Oh, this one's got a little bit too much power for its, uh, for what it's good for. So here we go, guys. We're gonna cut this corner a little bit better than we have in any of the other laps. Oh yes, yes, man. That was, that was, that was good. Mwah. That was that was a delicious turn. We just ate that thing up. All right, here we go, man. Here we go. Oh, oh. Okay, okay. We've got this though. We still have this under control. We still have this under control. We are actually going to go ahead and win this race. I did not think that we were going to do it. I thought that Ferrari FF was going to stay in front of us that whole time, but now we have finally got in front of him on the last lap, and it is good. It feels good, guys. It feels good. All right, so here we are, guys. This is like one of our final corners right here. Although it's very, very long and sweeping, it, it takes a little bit more control with this uh, Honda, with this front-wheel drive Honda. But there we go. There is the finish line. We are almost there. Home stretch, and we have won this race. We have won this race with our Honda Civic Type R. Man. Mm. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. So there we go, guys. 147 was our fastest lap. Hot damn. All right, let's go ahead and move on, man. Get our rewards. Get everything going because we're like an hour into this race already. So we've already got we got a little bit of progress made in slithering along. Uh, and we made progress in another one, I think. I think that's what that sound was. And we should have. We should have because we used an all-wheel drive car. And we also used it as an A-class. So the next race that we got to do is we got to use our Ford Mustang. And then we should be done with Forzathon. We should be done with Forzathon. Because once we go ahead and use that Ford Mustang, we should get our Boss 302 Forza Edition. Which I already think I have in this game. So I'm not super concerned with it. But it is also going to help us finish up the Forzathon at the same time. Give me that car right there. Thank you very much. Alright, let's go ahead and move on. So, our next race, though, do we have to go anywhere in particular? 
Claiming our force thon. So we gotta kiss the cook driver gear. So we have one thing to do. Nugello in a Ford Mustang. Alright, let's go ahead and do that real quick. So we need to go to here to Mugello. Mugello, my dudes. Alright, how long is this? I don't I don't wanna do the fast one. I wanna do the slower one. Let's do the club circuits. This is A class. And yes, I wanna accept the changes. And let's go ahead and select our car. I changed it and just started loading up another track. I don't know. I don't know. Select our car. Give me my damn Mustang. Not that I really want it, but we got to use it. And if it will let me actually move, that'd be very appreciated. Oh my God. Come on. Freaking load. Load these damn cars in. It's still showing the Honda. 2015, man. It's right here. It's right here. It should be. Where is it? It's 2013s. There it is. Thank you. Yes. Hold on. No, 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 no. Okay, so what, what class is this? Because I have this one actually tuned for its class. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. What is it? Is it like Sport GT, Sport Touring? Okay, so we're going to set this up for sport touring this time around. That way this car is going to be at least competitive. And once we get this done, we will be done with the Forzathon. I am so excited, guys. I am I am excited. Arriving at Mugello. Come on, we should just be able to go ahead and start the race up as soon as this goes. Oh, man, it looks a little cloudy, though. I will say that. It looks a little cloudy. And where I'm at right now, it tends to stay cloudy quite often. I'll tell you guys that too. It, it stays cloudy. Honestly, if the sun would just come out, it would make life so much easier. It would. It is just hot and humid where I am. It, it, it sucks a little bit. It really does. And I'll tell you where I am in another video in about a week or so once I get home. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the fun because, well, honestly, I really haven't seen anything that's worth talking about. Gonna be straight up honest there. Have not seen anything so that that's really worth writing home. Like, you know, if I see like a supercar or something like that, I sometimes want to talk about it. Haven't seen anything. Although I will say every single day, I do drive past this donked Cadillac, and every single day, the uh the people who own it are outside just looking at it. I, I don't know why. It's just every day. Every single day. Alright, so we got our Mustang here. Let's see what this thing can do. All right. That Jaguar is going to be quite a challenge for us in this race. All I can say there. Oh, man. Come on. Let us pass. Let us pass. Oh, yes. We're getting past the Jaguar. Oh, no. Come on, man. Why are you trying to... You're trying to, like, run me off the road, and you just ended up running yourself off. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why sometimes the driver tries to decide that that's okay. And then we actually went off the track there for a second. But now all we got is this challenger in front of us. The challenger and the challenger. Let's see how we can do. And it looks like it's actually going to rain. I did not necessarily set it up for rain. But I also at the same time did not set it not to rain. So I don't know. You can actually see the rain in the background there. Holy crap. That is attention to some detail. Oh my gosh. So there we go, guys. We've got one lap underway. Come on, man. Come on. This Mustang has got this in the bag. This Mustang has got to have it in the bag. Ow. Ow. Thank you. But ow. There we go. That That's a little bit better. That's a little better. We're now into first place. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, man. Yeah. Woo! All right. We're almost done. We've got one more lap once we go ahead and round these next two corners. And everything should be A-OK. -okay. We will be done with the force thought. It better start raining here on this next lap <laughs> if it does at all. You know, I, I feel like it's going to have to start raining here any time, any second now. Otherwise, it's just going to stay cloudy this whole time. And just kind of, it, it makes the track a little bit slick, I think. 
I think it does affect the track handling just a little bit because it's a little cooler. So, all right, but here we go. No crashing on this quarter this time around. That is good. All right. <laughs> yeah. Woo. I'm, I'm excited. I'm so excited right now. We've got this thing in the bag. Boozathon's almost over. I get to go play the crew too for like 20 minutes now. Actually, yeah, but like 19 minutes and counting. Like by the time I get everything set up and sort of learn how to do it, I need to go to bed and I probably won't. I'm going to be straight up us. I probably won't. I'll probably be busy playing the crew too, which I do need to pre-order still. I do need to pre-order still, but I think though, I think it's the 26th. So actually, yeah, I, I kind of need to pre-order tonight. So before I go to bed, I'm going to have to go ahead and pre-order it. So but anyway, though, this is the final stretch, and we should have Forzathon wrapped up here. And once we do, that's where we're going to go and wrap things up for today. All right, there we go. We got a first place with a 104. How bad was the person behind us? That's all I got to say. How bad was he? 105.9. Okay, so he's about a second and a half behind our best lap. So there we go. Let's go ahead and move on. Get our forces on rewards. Yes. You made progress in on a stallion. And we had completed on a stallion. There we go. Should have another one popping up here. Yes. You have made progress in pulling through. And... Congratulations, you completed bowling through. All right, let's go ahead and quit on out of here, get our rewards, and that is where we'll go ahead and wrap things up for today. So, but anyway, though, guys, like I said, if you guys want to, you can go ahead and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at twitter.com forward slash girl 413 and instagram.com forward slash girl 413 And if you guys like this video, go ahead and make sure to hit that like button down below for us because you guys already know your support is so greatly appreciated. And make sure to subscribe when more videos come out all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. Bye.